Hi, Dave here, and today we're going to check out the work of Khan Lu. Now, Khan Lu is an artist based in Singapore and is an illustration art lead on LOR. I'm not sure what that stands for um, at Riot Games. So, yeah. He's very focused on character design based on his portfolio. <laughs> Doggo. Um, there's a heavy lean, I think towards fantasy but sometimes he'll dabble into like sci-fi s concepts here and there um, but most of it is more on the fantasy side and lots of babes lots of narrative lots of storytelling right and um, i do see a strong anime influence in his work right the style at least um the proportions are kind of similar to sam does arts Sam does arts, his um, <laughs> style is way more um, exaggerated, especially when it comes to like the face. It's like it's super big eyes and shit, um, whatever. Um, but yeah, and I do think Khan Lu is inspired maybe or influenced by Wolope because I do see a bit of Wolope um, um, energy in his work, right? based on the environments and shit, you know, at least for his more recent work, right? Um, so let's proceed. So yeah, he does a lot of line sketches as well, um, and he likes to publish them or finish them to the point of... <laughs> in this level, right? Because it's not very sketchy, it's pretty finished, right? Like you could actually color this and leave the line work intact. And, uh, you know, it could be some kind of, or it could be a part of some kind of comic, manga, whatever, right? Because it's pretty much finished and clean, right? Um, and he has a lot of these ink sketches. And again, a lot of his work involves narratives, um, storytelling. And if you look at his brushwork, very, very basic, right? Not a lot of texture in his work. Um, I mean, all I can see here is... I think his main brush is the basic Photoshop round brush, right? And uh, if, if you're kind of going for a more opaque look, kind of like this one, you're going to have to go for a gouache approach where you have to separate each, separate, fuck, where you have to separate each value or each kind of hue into like different shapes. Because that's, that's pretty much how you can only do... Um, like that's your limitation, right? When it comes to painting in this kind of straightforward fashion. Um, it's a bit raw, it's a bit strong, but if you know how to work it, it's it does look good, right? Like you can actually make very, very full, um, finished, beautiful paintings in the end, right? Because sometimes in kind of... Um, like, I feel like it's less of an artwork if I don't have a lot of brush variety in it. But, you know, people like this, like Khan Liu, um, Sakimi Chan, Wolope, they prove that you can do things with a basic um, round brush. Even Anthony Jones, right? Um, Ross Draws, you know. Feng Zhu with this flat brush, you know. You, you, don't, you, you don't need much to paint amazing things. Again, lots of ink sketches here. Um, the shoes reminds me of the armor that Willow paints for his characters, right? The kind of claw thingies. Or the raptor feet. Um, again, basic round brush being used. Um, and Khan Lu likes to play a lot with water. Maybe he has... Or maybe the last airbender is a big influence in his life. Just that's just my guess based on his recent work. Lots of water bending involved. Um, and if you look at the color scheme of Khan Lu, he's kind of like Wolope, where he has the same scheme for the entire world. And I think that helps with obviously it helps with the consistency, right? And it makes every sketch painting. Feel like it's part of one um, story, right? 
very very earthly tones natural tones um and it does like to play with the blur filter right and that's pretty much the only softness in his work for the most part i don't see a lot of mixer brushes being used or anything like that everything is just bold and just straightforward um Um, and I, I have seen kind of anime art where they use the same approach where it's just a solid brush being used and you don't necessarily have to build up the paint with brushes that have opacity in it, right? Um, and even his ink sketches are pretty... Like the way he does the water effects, um, they're very very detailed. Um, it's not very common, I think, in manga. I think it's more of a, um, like this hatching technique, it's so, like, classic, right? It's not necessarily modern in any way. Um, and I do like how he was able to achieve the softness in the, uh, the babes, right? In these elves, just because, you know, you do have to find the right, the right balance when drawing um women because if you add too many lines they'll actually start to look um old and very very less feminine right like how do you achieve softness with line art that's the uh the challenge i guess um but he does a good job um even this fire effect is pretty in intense right <sighs> i mean right what the fuck is this, you know? Very, very intense. Again, basic brushes being used. Not very, very complex. Um. Now for these sketches, this actually does remind me of the color scheme of Willope. It may be a bit of glaze. They're very, very dark. Now, Willope is more, I see a lot of blues, like dark blues in his work. Gwaze is more like grays and yellows. <laughs> it's very, very mellow, I think. Um, Kan Lu, based on his recent work, is more... I feel like he's more upbeat, right? More alive. Lots of daytime sketches or paintings, right? And... Um, the blues that he's kind of using is very, very light. It's not that dark, kind of like Willope. Um... And yeah, again, lots of storytelling involved here. Um, lots of water bending, right? Um, simple environment sketch here, but it has enough to kind of hook you in, right? Contrast, character against dark shadow interior. Blur the background. This part right here reminds me of Lope. Right? The way he does the, the yellow light thingies. Um, the flying lanterns. Um, I think they're called flying lanterns? Fuck. Right? Very, very common in Willope's um, world. Now, when it comes to effects, I think Kan Lu is king. <laughs> Especially the water stuff. I don't know. In this case, he's using a, a fire kind of effect. This one's more of a firebender, right? Nice ponytail. Um, um, basic brushes being used. Blur effect in the background. Um, look at the amount of round brush being used. Right? It's just one simple brush, but you can achieve so much with it. Um, reminds me of this artist. I forgot her name. Um, she's a redhead. And uh, I think she did this. It's a free... Uh, Gnomon, Gnomon workshop, <laughs> Gnomon, Gnomon workshop video, and she was able to paint this horse creature thing with a simple round brush, and to me that was pretty amazing, right? No opacity, just the basic solid round brush, and uh, you know my world was kind of shaken by that, right? Like there are no excuses when it comes to like painting digitally, you know, all you need is a basic round brush. 
without even opacity in it, right? Or transfer turned on. Um, dragon, snake, light blues. I mean, kind of gray, but it's it has a light blue tint to it. Water bending. Um, I think this is some kind of sand, hard to say. Um, but look at the amount of opaqueness in his work, right? Very, very solid um, way of painting. A bit of softness in the face. Maybe he did use a soft brush, right? Just a bit. But most of it is just like raw paint. Again, lots of water bending in his work. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Now this one's pretty cool. Like it's like there's some kind of force field around here, right? I think he is really having fun with the uh, the water um, powers thing, right? Whoosh. Whoosh. Nice shot um, from the bottom. Very, very lively scenes, right? Maybe he's doing a book or something because I'm not sure where this project is actually going. Because he has a lot of paintings of this world, so I'm not exactly sure what he's trying to achieve with it or if he's just having fun and just kind of letting it happen, right? Day by day. I mean, look at the amount of storytelling here, right? Simple color scheme, not very complex. It's really more about her, right? The characters, the story. The colors are kept simple, the brushes are definitely kept simple. The effects are kept simple. I mean, the only prominent effect he's using is the blur filter in Photoshop. I think it's it's Photoshop, right? It must be. Right? Anyway. Cat. Yeah, meow. Ah, shit. Anyway. Um, again, blur the background, storytelling. A lot of his work, if he decided to kind of further the painting process, a lot of them can become prints, right? Each one of his frames has a story, right? Like you can actually feel something and be part of the uh, the world. It's not just a basic environment. I mean, no, <laughs> I mean, no hate on environment artist or creature artist, but. This type of thing, or this type of art is really, um, I mean, it's more engaging, I guess. I mean, you know, uh, design-heavy artworks are impressive. They look visually appealing, right? And they're very cool. But these shots right here, they have way more impact, right? Just because of the story, right? Just because of the, the lean towards emotion or evoking emotion so more line sketches here wow four arms wait six <laughs> right damn and they're so clean even the ink um, lines are basic right it's just, I think it's a simple, small, round brush. Fuck. This guy is not playing, right? Lots of elves or elvish kind of tones, especially with the ears and shit. Um, fantasy world, obviously. Um, holy shit. So more ink sketches of his, of his, of his. Um, look at the effects done with the inks. Powerful queen. <laughs> okay, this one's more of, more of a sci-fi thing, right? Just because of the the mechanical parts and shit. Land sketch. And then basic line sketch, and then painting. Look at those folds, I mean, Jesus Christ. Am I right? Or am I right? They're so pretty. 
some more ink sketches. He has a lot of ink sketches, by the way. Um, and look at how relatable they are. Reminds me of the work of Sam Does Arts. Um, like he, he also has the same thing where there's a lot of storytelling involved. Although he's more focused, um, like most of the, the frame is filled up with the character. Uh, for Khan Lu, not always, you know. Uh, there's often some kind of environment in it, right? Um, nice feet. Again, basic round brush. Some more sci-fi concepts here. Um, now I do see more blending here, right? I don't see a lot of uh, it's not like the same. Like it's uh, these are not part of the, his recent world, world, right? But they're still basic brushes. Fuck. Now this round brush does have some opacity in it, right? And then he just builds up as he goes to the point where it's hard to see the, the simple brushes being used. I mean, you can still see it in the background, right? But for the character, for this part, it's, it's pretty fine, right? Nice biker babe. Um, But even in this world, I don't see a lot of textures. I think that's just his style. He just likes to keep the painting process pretty simple. Nice shot. Touche. Storytelling involved here. Her throwing a can of beer, perhaps, at this guy. Um, Sci-fi babe with some robotic arms. Pretty epic. Right? Zut, 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 zut. Queen. <laughs> nice legs. Ooh! Now, this one does have more effects in it, like more filters, I guess. Right? Let's see its process. Um, fuck. Restart, restart. So we have a line sketch, underpainting or undercoloring, and then fuck, it's too fast. Um, the point is. Um, there's more rendering involved, right? He's way past this basic kind of style, right? It's pretty much finished and could be some kind of marketing art, right? And I think it did add a lens correction um, filter. You can see the shift in green or blue and red, right? Awesome dinosaur concept here. Um... Ooh. Reminds me of the comic book Dinosaurs versus Aliens. <laughs> or is it alien, Aliens versus the Dinosaurs? I can't remember. But uh, I I loved the art, you know? I like dinosaurs, right? It's one of my first loves, right? My first um, loves. You know, my first... <laughs> it's an interesting concept, right? Big reptiles. And the fact that they were here before us, I mean, anyway. Now these are more finished, more for presentation and shit. Presentation. A bit of coloring involved underneath. You can still see the line work above, right? Damn, so aggressive, fuck. This line work is super clean. Not exactly my style. I'm very, very messy, very, very impressionistic, right? <laughs> but look at how presentable this thing is, right? Even the way it's colored underneath. Touche, touche, Khan Lu. Ooh, wow, very, very rendered piece. Very, very, it's meant for marketing, right? It really pulls you in, makes an impact. And look at that lighting, right? It's so epic looking. And again, not a, not a lot of texture in his work. Very, very smooth. I do see way more hue variety. It really makes it more... It makes the painting look more fuller, more alive, right? If you have the entire color wheel in it. Um, obviously, some will have to be more subtle or more desaturated. But if you have the whole 
color wheel in your work, it's going to make your paintings way more breathable, right? More alive. And the rendering process here is pretty intense, right? But again, very, very epic. Right? More dinosaur scenes here. This could be the cover for my um, thumbnail, perhaps. I think. Oh, another doge, doggo um, painting. It's based off of a meme, right? Oh, I think he does. He does have a, he does have, fuck, he does have a video of this specific painting in his YouTube channel. So I do recommend you check it out over there. Link will be in the description. And he did start out the painting with the basic, not basic, but with line work, right? And then he just did it. Like he has a classic way of painting digitally where you have the line work, you have the under colors, right? The base colors, and then you kind of do the rendering on top of everything. Um, it's pretty basic, but if you just keep pushing it, you can get to this very refined um, level, right? Very, very epic. I love the back shot here, obviously, right? Look at the yellows, right? In the in-between, the shadow and the light. Um, the armor has a bit of yellow in it. The details in the armor. The scales, or the or the suggestion of scales, at least, right? It has a bit of realism in it, right? Obviously, it's stylized, but in terms of the uh, proportions and shit, but, um, you know, it has a sense of realness to it, even if it's a fantasy world. And obviously, the composition is pretty amazing, right? Her riding a dragon, fighting another bigger dragon very very intense um and for paintings like this i think he does use the mixer brush more to kind of help with the blending right i can see some blues here in the rocks um reflecting the sky i guess even in the armor here right the blues um maybe this should be the uh the cover thumbnail for this Art view. So that's it for this art view of Khan Liu. Um, I do recommend you follow him on ArtStation, Instagram, DeviantArt. Um, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, and yeah. Thank you for watching. Keep training. Keep painting. Keep learning. And stay free.